Now, when Dick Whittington walked to London, he's supposed to have walked like this, with all his stuff in a bag slung on a stick over his shoulder. I don't want to be rude, but he must have been a twit, because it's very uncomfortable. Or perhaps he just hadn't heard about the all-purpose emergency bushies haversack. Because even carrying it around like that is awkward. It stretches your arm. You've only got one arm left to do things with. So let's see how the haversack is done. First of all, it's best to use something like a wheat bag or a small tough bag. I'm using a pillowcase because it's easier to show you what goes on. Now the troubles are these. If you just tie a string onto this and sling it on your back, first of all you have to tie two bits of string at the corners down the bottom. And if you do that, the load of the haversack pulls the corner through the loop of string. Uh, and you've uh, got a mess all over the landscape. Or if you make a hole in there, you either rip the fabric or things go plummeting out of the hole. So that doesn't work. Here's the trick. You get a couple of rounded stones, rounded so they don't spoil the fabric, and you poke them down into the corners. One down there and one on the other one. Now you take the string, and it's uh, either thick string or campus cord or something. You want about this length. It's about from there to there, but the best way to measure is to put the middle of it behind your neck, bring it in front of your shoulders, and take it down to just below your belt. And that's about the right length for a haversack. We'll get those two ends and tie them onto the corners around the stone. So this corner gets tied on like this. And you see how that stone is going to work. It's not going to allow the material to rip, but it's also not going to allow it to pull through the loop of string. That corner first, then the other one. And when you've finished that, it's going to look like this. The bag with the loop tied onto its bottom corners. Find the middle bit of the loop, bring it up to the neck, and that doesn't take much strain in a haversack, so all you have to do there is to get a shorter piece of cord, put it through the loop, and tie it around the neck with a couple of uh, turns, and that should hold it tight. If it doesn't, if your haversack's full to bursting, then you can wrap the neck over once, and that'll really secure it. But for most purposes, that'll do. And you can see now that it's a very good haversack. Onto one arm there. This arm here, and because that cord will slip, you can even it up and get it right in the middle. How about that? One thing you've got to do. This cord, after a few miles, starts to dig in. You want a load spreader. And almost anything does. Bits of plastic or bits of leather. I'm using bits of cardboard carton. About that sort of size, you snip up just off the centre there and across. Turn it round and do exactly the same thing here. Up, off the centre, across. That'll give you two pieces like that. See so how they go on. Take the cord here, low down, slip it into one of those slots, put the cardboard behind the cord and lock it in there. It can't come off the cord, it acts as a load spreader you can put it exactly where you want it, on the shoulder. One on that side, one on that side. Put on your Bushman's emergency hat, take up your staff, and you can go all the way to London. It's a superb comfort. I want to know Curiosity